I'm super excited to share my unforgettable experience on a group tour in the breathtaking country of Switzerland. From the stunning snow-capped Alps to charming Swiss villages and mouth-watering chocolate and cheese, I had the adventure of a lifetime. So grab a cozy drink, sit back, and come along with me as I take you through my journey filled with scenic train rides, picturesque lakes, and fun moments with my mom. So we're on a tour called Cosmos, and it's a grand tour of Switzerland. Basically a bus tour where you stop off uh, on these different cities and you get to explore on your own. This region was really pretty with the rolling hills coming in on the bus. And then there's these cute little buildings all painted. <laughs> This must be some kind of toy store and you can see the there's paintings. It kind of looks like a story maybe. Appenzell was a great start to our trip, but we had to say goodbye to continue our journey. On our way to our final destination for the day, we made a pit stop in a tiny country called Liechtenstein. Never heard of it, you say? Well, that's probably because it's one of the smallest countries in the world landlocked by Switzerland and Austria. It's a country ruled by a monarchy with basically nothing outside of its capital, Vaduz. They have a royal family here, um, and they say when the flag is flying on the castle that they're here. I think it's rolled by a prince. The rain is coming down pretty hard. It hadn't stopped raining all day, but I think it's only supposed to be for the morning. Fingers crossed. These are so neat. There's a lot of different sculptures in this town, I believe. This building's really awesome. I don't know what it is though. Got us a little coffee to go for the bus ride. They've only been giving us an hour at each stop, which I feel like is pretty quick, but some of the stops we have like a night or two nights stay. So, but today it's a bunch of stops and then we'll stay the night in Switzerland. You cannot visit Switzerland with at least driving down one narrow windy road. And that's exactly what led us to our stop for the night, St. Moritz. We just checked in to Hotel Baron. Quick tour, there's our beds. There's a view out here, I gotta show you. We got a nice bathroom too, look at the tub. And a shower. Me and mom are exploring St. Moritz. We found this beautiful park with a crazy view of the mountains and the lake. There's actually a golf course, golf course here. St. Moritz hosted the 1928 and 1948 Winter Olympics. So I think some of this like golf course was part of it. The rainbow just came out right here. We finally made it down to Lake Moritz. It's huge. This lake is where they do all the winter. They do like horse races and car races. Through this viewfinder you can see it and how it is in the winter. told they had a car show this weekend. Look at these cool little bugs is what I'll call them. Although the town of St. Moritz was pretty cool, our pockets weren't quite deep enough to do the luxury shopping that St. Moritz is known for. Instead, the next day we made a trip up a mountain on a funicular to see some of the best mountain views that we could ever hope for for this trip. Looks like they have a restaurant, lots of lounge chairs and stuff. I'm so excited because we came up the mountain and there's cows. Oh my gosh. They have the best view on planet Earth. Look at this. It's gorgeous. There's a few hiking trails around here, so we just took one up to the top. <laughs> 
today we're riding one of the most beautiful trains here in Switzerland slash Italy because it's called the Bernita Express and it's a scenic train drive. It's about two hours. We're starting here in St. Moritz and we're going all the way to Toronto, Italy. And I'm super excited to see everything, all the views and everything. And then um, tonight we end up back in Switzerland, but I'll see you along the way. I packed in just a backpack. It's kind of, um, it's been a little bit difficult, but also really easy because I don't have to trek around a big suitcase. We soon set off on the world famous Bernina Express. We approached some of the most amazing scenery of mountains and glaciers as we made our way to Italy. The train ride was a little over two hours and it was hard to get bored as they told us information about what we were seeing out the window. We got served delicious tea and chocolates and almost as soon as it started we had to disembark in the beautiful city of Toronto. But our time in Toronto was quite short having really only time to eat lunch because on our agenda for the next few hours would be to take a scenic drive around Lake Como and getting to take in a piece of one of the most famous spots in the world. We made a quick stop on the famous Lake Como and this is like one of the most beautiful places in Italy. It gets a lot of tourists and stuff. Lake Como is the fifth deepest lake in all of Europe, four of them being in Norway, so pretty cool. There's a fun putt-putt course on Lake Como. Lugano, Switzerland ended up being our resting spot for the night. Lugano is part of the Italian-speaking area of Switzerland, and Lugano definitely had an Italian vibe. There was no better way to end our day than having dinner on the lake and watching the city lights come to life as the sun set. We somehow got caught in the middle of a hailstorm, which pretty much forced us to turn down for the night. We're in the beautiful town of Stressa, it, but this is in Italy and it's such a cute little Italian town. We just had some coffee and a cannoli, is that what it's called? Cannoli. cannoli. <laughs> and then we got some perfume. So we're doing a bit of shopping today. I got this genuine leather bag here. Look at the strap, it's crossbody. Made in Florence, it said, I think. Show them yours. Mom got a bag too, purse. How much was yours? 69. Oh, mine too. There's Lake Maggiore, I'm sure you've heard of it. It's a famous lake and it's gorgeous. All the lakes around here kind of look similar, but not quite, but I love this town. It's so cool. I'll definitely have to come back one day. Lake Maggiore is the second largest lake in Italy. Fun fact. What do you think of Italy? Oh, I love it. I love Stressa. Yeah. It's my favorite. We said goodbye to Italy for the last time and made our way on buses and trains to reach what is probably the highlight of the entire trip, the mountain town of Zermatt. If you did not know, Zermatt, Switzerland is the gateway to one of the most famous mountains in the world called the Matterhorn. We just checked in to our Matterhorn room. No view of the Matterhorn though. There's our bathroom. This hotel is called Christiana Hotel and Spa in Zermatt. And it's super cool. We're in the spa at this hotel. It came with the room. And there's two saunas, the steam room, a little ice tub, and then a jacuzzi and pool with the view of the Matterhorn. How cool is that? <laughs> struggle bus this morning <laughs> really bad but it's the most amazing day today so we gotta push through it we just made it up Gornergrat Mountain to see the Matterhorn here this is amazing 
I didn't expect all these mountains either. So the mountain I'm on is called Gornergrat, and this is the best view of the Matterhorn with like doing hikes and stuff. And you take the train, it's about a 20 minute train ride all the way up here, and it's a beautiful view. You can have some lunch, gift shop, restroom, all that good stuff. It's awesome. <laughs> a little bit scared. Yeah. But it's awesome. It was worth the early wake up and all the trouble we had to get here and all the money. Expensive. There's a church right here. Imagine going to church and then seeing the Matterhorn view. Wow. Doing a quick hike. I uh, left the group just for a second to do this Riffle Sea Lake hike. And it's actually really easy. Like, I think it, the all trail said 30 minute hike, which I'm okay with. This lake is famous because you get a view of the Matterhorn in it. Wow. This view is so worth the quick hike. It was not even 30, maybe 10 minutes down. It's amazing. I don't know what these flowers are though. But I made it back on the train with everybody. Today is going to be a fairly long day today. We're on the bus with quite a few stops. Yesterday we stopped off in Lausanne, Switzerland, and um, we treated it more as a rest day because we were exhausted. But we did go out and explore Lake Geneva, which the locals call it Lac Le Mans because they didn't want the lake to be named after just one city on the lake, basically, but it is known as Lake Geneva. And we did go um, explore the old town for a little bit. Today, like I said, is going to be quite a long day, so let's get on with it. We're in Grier, and we're stopped at the cheese factory, did a tour of how they make all the cheeses, had a little bit of tasting, and we're about to go explore the town. Grier is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's dated back as early as the 1500s, at least that century. And a UNESCO site means that it's protected to where they can't change any of the buildings and stuff. Some of the buildings even have the year that they were built. How cool is that? It's the most perfect Switzerland town. It's like exactly what I think about whenever you think of Switzerland. Going up the town walls. And look at the view. Got a chocolate milkshake, Swiss chocolate milkshake. Found some cows. Hi. My life is made now. Switzerland, the water is so clean that you can drink out of the fountains. We both got two pizzas, but they're too big. Look at this amazing view of Bern. Might be the best view in the city. Our next stop brought us to Interlaken, in Switzerland, which was a very quick stop, but we did see enough to realize that we should probably return one day. Honestly, it was such a pretty town, and we even saw some people in the sky on parachutes. You can hear them. They're having a blast. Our last stop is Lucerne, where we would stay for the night and enjoy the evening as we prepare for our last day of the trip. stay in Switzerland and we're here in the city of Lucerne. We stayed the night last night and we did get to explore the town a little bit last night. They had a pride festival going on and that was pretty fun. But this morning we're doing a boat cruise. 
on the lake. Lucerne is gorgeous. There's a famous bridge right here with a bunch of flowers and it's really unique. The boat ride was just what we needed for the morning of our last day, feeling the cool summer breeze and seeing the city wake up against the mountainous landscape. But our time exploring wasn't over because we had to end the day with a bang and what better way to say goodbye to Switzerland than of course going up a mountain. the very first open top cable car to mount Stranzerhorn. And as you can see, we just watched the little, I don't know what they're called, the horns. And we have a beautiful view up here. Those are marmots right over here, how cool. The most beautiful seat in the world. I think it's time for a little bit of lunch. But I was thinking of that. Appler Migronin is what's for lunch. <laughs> the pasta I ate is made of like a cheese sauce with some dried onions on top, and then you put the applesauce on top. It sounds really weird, but it came out pretty pretty tasty. Wow, so we're back in Zurich. That's a wrap on our Switzerland trip. It has been uh, an amazing 10 days, fast and furious, but wouldn't have it any other way. Oh. And look at the view from my Zurich Hotel. Anyways, we're headed back to the United States really early in the morning, and we'll see you on the next one.